everything and just, me mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. just medical ventilators are currently the world's most sought after medical equipment in the fight against covid-19 Back home, some two young chaps have been working day and night to develop a working and medically accepted oxygen ventilator. In a school. Yeah. Yeah. Moses Othiambo and Avin Galot are busy admiring their prototype. They are clearly happy with their work, but every time they stare at their machine, they think of other ways to make it even better, smaller and portable. All this with the aim of saving lives in case the trend of COVID-19 infections continues in Kenya. So, first step is you have the oxygen tank, okay? But the tank has a lot of pressure. So, your pressure out is the direct kwa patient. So, the first thing inafanya, tunapitisha hapa kwa valve. Unawana? Sasa, hapa tumetumia pipes za maji. Here to make me a valve to regulate your pressure in a India pandani. Here to make a washing machine. Here is a valve to washing machine. Moses and his colleagues say, even though their device is still at development stage before trial, it has everything a patient will need in case of an emergency. Let's be a part of the solution and not part of the problem by panicking. And this is what started this entire project. This is not a, this is not a, a Kenyan problem. It's not, a, it's not just a global problem. It's a humanitarian problem. This one is to save lives. They have also added a computer device to regulate air pressure for a patient based on a doctor's recommendation. The next part ni hii circuit board. To me program, yeze ku regulate oxygen. Kiona hapa inatumia charge ya simu. Kwa power consumption ni very low. Okay. Naona. Sasa hapa, hii ni kit ya kuregulate sasa hii pressure. Sasa, oxygen imengia. Mm -hmm. But unajua, patients are in different levels. Kuna ule anaitaji oxygen nyingi, kuna mzee, kuna mtoto, kuna kijana, wote wanapumua at different levels. They admit that they had to seek advice from a medical doctor who deals with patients in intensive care on key inclusions needed to make their ventilator medically viable. So, kama hiyo ni mefungulia oxygen sasa, sasa ni oxygen sasa inapitishwa na ile rate tumeeka. Sasa tuneeza punguza. Per minute. All these parts, they sourced them locally. Some of them are used parts that are readily available and reliable. We are at war. The doctors are our soldiers. We, have, we all have a responsibility of what we need to do. There are other inventors who are trying to do this. It is from this small room in Westlands, dubbed Wazi Shop, that these young people come together to develop computer programs and gadgets under a non-profit idea incubation program. This ventilator being one of the many devices they are developing here. The first prototype, Tuli, Tuliona, Ilikuwa Tuni, we are, we are working as we go along. But number one thing, Tuliona, Lazima, this thing has to be portable. Mm -hmm. Hospital already is in the mm -hmm. So they have their own piping and everything. So our job right now is to make it into a box, a carry box, mm -hmm. that's probably 30 centimeters by 20. Kitu mtu anaeza beba, atoke hapa ende medikundine. According to these two friends, the government should consider giving them a chance to take their innovation a step further through medical testing and eventual mass production. Dennis Matarake 24, Weekend with Betty.